Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is National Fragrance Day. So happy National Fragrance Day. For today, I was like, what kind of video do I want to do? And I think I come upon an idea that I really enjoy. And it's going to be like revisiting the, and I guess ranking and discussing the top five fragrance moments in my past 11 years here on YouTube. Uh, so as you guys know, I've started YouTube way back in, I think like January of 2012, I think. And I was buying candles in the fall of 2011. And then we finally started the channel in 2012. Um, and it was just totally a hobby and it still is very much a hobby uh, but obviously it's kind of like lasted a lot longer than I had ever expected uh, and in those 11 years there has been a few moments that just like kind of st stood out so we're gonna revisit the top five uh, moments and we'll go in chronological order from earliest to latest and we'll get right into it so yes so the first thing that sticks out the first like memory or fragrance moment that like stands up in my mind uh, and these are like I guess favorite <laughs> moments not the negative moments there have been plenty of ups and downs on my YouTubing but we're only gonna talk about the positive ones today um, although it would be pretty interesting or juicy to talk about the negative ones as well but we don't need to dig that up today uh, so yes the first one is back in what was this 2012 so the fall of 2012 so very early on in my YouTubing in Bath and Body Works journey and there was a old school white barn side-by-side -side Bath and Body Works store in like a really rundown mall that doesn't exist anymore unfortunately that mall in the entire store has been completely torn down so it doesn't exist but they used to have the old school like white barn bbw side by side like the you know the the old gingham country style uh, like 90s look that they had back in the day and the white barn side had like test candles for whatever reason uh during that fall of 2012 and this was back before like instagram was popping and like youtube wasn't that big either and so a lot of the information kind of trickled through facebook groups and i remember seeing on a facebook page or a group that some Somebody in my region had found like chocolate bacon cupcake and blueberry pumpkin patch in their store and I was like I'm most certainly not in a test region so what is this so this is back when I still um I was kind of like nervous about driving and like it wasn't a really like it was like an hour away and like really heavily trafficked area and I remember like being like nervous about driving there but as you know like the the I, the power of candles definitely like kind of persuades or overrides the nervousness and it's like you know what, I'm just gonna go in the car deal with the traffic and go all the way over there and get the candles and I still remember to this day walking into that like white uh, like uh, the white wall white barn and just like seeing all the fall test candles and being so excited about it and so of course I picked up a lot of them okay so um I was like, well, let me try driving to the white barn that's around us. It's still like an hour away, though. Yeah. And Although it didn't... It didn't even take that long. No, it was like think. maybe 40 minutes. Yeah. Maybe four minutes. But, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I still have a battle traffic, but it wasn't yeah. a big deal if it's for candles. But, um, <laughs> so we're like, let's just try this white barn that's um, sort of away from us, but we'll just check it out. And lo and behold, they actually had the fall test candles mm -hmm. of the second phase, which is like the whole roasted pumpkin butter stuff that you Blueberry guys saw. Pumpkin so, I so the first one we got was the one that we wanted, and we had been eyeing for... Since it this one. Made oh my the god. Cut. Blueberry pumpkin patch. Yeah, blueberry uh, pumpkin patch. So the next one we got <laughs> is roasted pumpkin butter. So in the last three yeah. wick we got was farm apple cookie. This one it's rather nice. <sighs> To me, it, it had low throw. I don't know. I couldn't really smell it that much. Uh, and I remember even like during SAS, when they clearance them out, there were like so many four ounces for 75% off too. And I remember getting chocolate bacon cupcake four ounces for 75% off. But the candles of the product that I have showed to commemorate this memory is indeed chocolate bacon cupcake right here bought from that store. Uh, that's what that looks like. I have like two or three of these, I think. And I burned through one and it was strong and great and burn find. Uh, and then this one, I just, I cannot for whatever reason uh, burn it. So that's what that looks like it is still brand new uh and this one says savory farmhouse bacon meets dark cocoa creamy buttermilk and rich caramel this uncommonly delicious combination of sweet and salty scents i think this is truly one of the like biggest unicorn candles out in the test like market of candles that tested and then failed and never came back again and chocolate bacon cupcake was most certainly uh that so super excited to have found that and for just like a regular like you know 11 12 dollar sale price whatever it was back then uh and i think i probably used a survey coupon so probably brought it down to like you know even lower than that so so exciting uh i also still do have the blueberry pumpkin patch which i wish my previous self would have bought like five of these because i love this fragrance and that's what that looks like 
This one was Harvest and Inviting Scent of Autumn Pumpkins, Perfectly Ripened Blueberries and Vanilla Praline. Um, and this one you can see did like that, the wig has turned brown uh, situation that you see right there. But this smells amazing. It's like this spicy blueberry muffin fragrance. It's absolutely delicious. So those are the two I think that I have left from that collection uh, of like the test ones. I think there's like a farm apple cookie that kind of smelled like urine and it didn't perform very well. So I think that actually got returned. Uh, toffee glazed popcorn was like completely unscented when you burned it. Uh, and then there was a few other ones in that collection as well that were test fragrances that didn't come out. But I remember vividly doing those four. So that was the first memory that we had. And then now we fast forward to, let's see, I guess it would be 2017. Yeah, so th was there really like five years in between my next uh, favorite fragrance moment? And it is the return of Pink Petal Tea Cake. Oh my gosh, so that's what that looks like right there. As you guys know, the Pink Petal Tea Cake originally came out on the Garden Party Collection a few years prior to this. I loved it, nobody talked about it. It was like a cult favorite. I kept pushing it on my YouTube channel and was saying how much I loved it. And I really thought, it was one of those fragrances that I would, thought would never ever come back again and so I remember just buying like I don't know four or five of them when they first came out um and I still hoarded a few of the later ones and I didn't burn through them and I think I still have the original one and I was just like I really don't think this is ever going to come out, out again but like sure enough for whatever reason like the cult following kept getting larger and larger over the years came out and people kept requesting it and finally we actually saw it in the second packaging of this Unfortunately, the very heavily inspired, uh, that Scandinavian candle company, uh, label that we have here, which is definitely not my favorite by any means, but it still exists as Pink Petal Tea Cake, so I was excited about that. Uh, this one says Rose Petals, Fluffy Cake, and Orange Essential Oil, um, and that's what that looks like right there, maybe. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Still love this fragrance. It's one of my favorite fragrances from Bath and Body Works of all time. Absolutely love it. And so I remember still when like news hit that this was coming out for Candle Day. Um, and back then I frequented my local store very frequently. <laughs> and so I was very close to a sales associate. So like I like even when stuff like came in shipment, like I would be able to know about it. And so they just like grabbed me an entire crate from the back as soon as it came off the truck. And I was like, girl, bring it up, buy it. And I think it was like it was a sa candle sale at that time too. Uh so I was able to get it at the sale price and I got like I think I just bought like a crate of six right off the bat. And then I bought a few more when a candle day actually hit. And I was just so over the moon. That hey you guys, so I cannot believe it but the day has actually come and I can't believe I'm saying it but pink petal tea cake is back and it's totally in my possession like this is a day I've been waiting for for what like three years I think it came out in 2014 now it's 2017 I can't believe it's like totally and finally here like we heard about the rumors of it coming out but you know I'm always skeptical of stuff actually coming out but it totally came out and it's totally here and I finally have it so oh my god I can't Thank you to everybody who like tagged me on um, Instagram because if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I've like made Pink Petal Tea Cake my number one candle. Like if I do one of those ranking top 10 candles, Pink Petal Tea Cake is always in it. The candle that I always want to come back but they don't repackage, Pink Petal Tea Cake is always in it. Like I just wanted Pink Petal Tea Cake to come back and it did. Granted it's in like hideous packaging but I can get over that because I can either A, rip off the label and make my own one or B, I can just like put it in a sleeve or just like, you know, rip it off completely and just burn it anyways and still enjoy the scent. Um, so at least it's, I just, I can't believe it. It's just, this is like the day that I've been looking forward to for so long in terms of like my BBW life. It's just, I, I just can't. That Pink Petal Tea Cake came back again because it was one of those fragrances that I never thought would come back. So it was just kind of like the power of social media actually does kind of work in our favor uh and we've seen pink bottle tea cake many times after that too it made a full release again and i think that like bake shop sweet shop 2.0 collection we got it as an online exclusive for candle day we also got it in that very recently in that big fun sas collection as well when like hot fuzz drizzle and all that came out uh and that pineapple marshmallow thing as well and so like we've actually seen pink bottle tea cake many times and it seems to at least be popular enough for them to release it for like a like a rando candle day or a sas type of event but that's still enough for me because i can still go in the store and pick it up i now have plenty of pink bottle tea cake to last me pretty much the entire lifetime that i don't needed to come back out again anymore but it is indeed one of my beloved bath and body works fragrances so i remember being like completely over the moon when this candle came out so that was my second favorite fragrance memory uh from the past 11 years my third favorite fragrance memory from uh the past seven years is the 
release of the Test Rose collection in Atlanta. Uh, and this was in 2019 of I think like spring into summer was it? Uh, and of course we have, I have pretty much the entire collection still in my possession but I just picked out a few for this video. So we have indeed Rosewater Meringue in the original packaging. We have Ballerina Rose right here. Uh, that's what that looks like. We also have Fireside Rose, which is probably one of my least favorite from the collection, to be honest. Uh, and then we also have Lavender Rose, which did make a wide appearance uh, once more in a white barn coral line, and that's what that is. And so I remember originally not really caring for these black matte jars with the uh, pink labels, but they are so striking now, and I actually really enjoy and appreciate them now. Uh, that I, It's just very the iconic, like, test collection look that I enjoy. But yes, I remember when we went, when it first came Came out and I was just like oh my god like I have to get my hands on this so like the hey history guys so I have another video and I don't even know where to start but you already saw from the title yes I do have the test store rose collection candles with me oh my god wow what a whirlwind of like a few days so basically um, it hit news on Instagram um, yesterday Thursday that there's a whole dedicated rose collection of candles of 10 fragrances that are in test stores. Um, it showed up in Columbus first and then um, posts started trickling in from Atlanta stores. Thank you to the people on Instagram who live next to, close to test stores who post all that kind of stuff because it's very, you know, helpful to know that stuff is at certain stores. Um, so, yeah. And then thank you to everybody who, like, so, oh my god, my phone was just blowing up. Like, thank you for all the people who, like, tagged me, messaged me, um, left comments on my channel like everything like dude, there were just so many like tags and comments and messages coming in like you know saying like oh like you need to check this out or this collection was like made for you yeah I'm just like I never thought like BBW like it, there were so it was for so long we never got like a rose stuff and like rose is like totally on trend now and so now we have a whole friggin like th the whole kink caboodle um like 10 rose fragrances so like the history with Bath and Body Works with rose fragrances is the fact that they forever did not release rose fragrances because they were not in favor for whatever reason and then finally as like trends and tastes change rose has become much more popular now that this was like the first like foray into them actually like really expanding and testing rose fragrances so I was excited about that because prior to that we really had no rose fragrances to be found ever uh, like rose water and ivy was like the the one that kind of like kept coming out and that one became successful so I was happy about that but prior to that I think we only had winter rose which was also repackaged with blush and pink rose petals and then prior to that we had majestic rose which was a failed test set and a fresh pick collection and then that was pretty much the extent of the rose fragrances we got from them and I was just like oh my god as a rose lover I hate that Bath and Body Works doesn't do anything rose but thankfully rose is once again much more in favor now and so we got that entire rose collection uh, and many of them did go wide uh, in one shape or format or another and rose water meringue was definitely my favorite so I remember doing the trip to Atlanta you know buying the candles uh, you know staying overnight and all that kind of stuff and it was super fun uh, I like went to many stores and like rose water meringue only there was like maybe like only three of them in the very first store and I'm like girl if I make the trip all the way to Atlanta I need more than three rose water meringue so I remember going to another store and finding more and clearing them out as well so I had many rose water meringues but thankfully that did go wide so I was able to get it in the juicier updated packaging so this is probably one of my favorite very favorite collections from Bath and Body Works just in the the sense that it was exclusive but also all rose fragrances and the hues of the pink were just so juicy and spoke to my like pink loving soul so yeah that was definitely one of the highlights for sure of the past 11 years and then moving on we do have a uh, slightly related actually quite related uh, moment or release and that is when Rosewater Meringue actually got a full-blown body care release and I was like oh my god what like I can't believe this is coming out like hey it was a so Bath and Body Works won't hire me they won't send me PR and they don't even acknowledge my existence on social media but none of that matters because they released a Rosewater Meringue body care oh my god like I can't I can't even believe it I've been like so excited all day today thank you to the person who let me know that the Rosewater Meringue uh, body care was in stores and you know I raced over there after work and I got it oh my god I'm just like I've been like so jazzed today I just can't believe it I'm just like so excited um yeah so oh my gosh just craziness um so basically what was it yesterday I started getting comments that there was a rosewater meringue um fine fragrance bins that surfaced um on social media and then so of course I checked it out and it was there and I was like what like this is so crazy like 
I thought the rose, like, I thought that whole rose collection was toast and it wouldn't come out, um, at least in, like, that format with that labeling. And then I got information that my own store had the shower gel in along with all the other forms, and I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. Originally, I thought it was going to be, like, a test store kind of thing, and I was like, oh, geez, I'm going to have to go all the way to Atlanta and um, get it at a test store and all this kind of stuff, but it was not a test store thing, and it's indeed going to all stores because my store is most certainly not a test store, and they had it, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. Um, and there's some other fragrances in the collection, too, but, you know, I have like most of it right now today so here's my video on the rose modern ring body care if you're interested in any of that then stay tuned oh, like it was a test fragrance and at that point did it even had it even gone wide at that point I don't remember uh but we got the body care as well and I was like you gotta be kidding me this came out for SAS of I think December like 2019 I believe it was and you better believe I bought so many shower gels this is still one of my very favorite shower gels of all time uh winter rose and fresh ivy infused with sweet sugar cream this is like a rose water and ivy fragrance mixed with like a raspberry cotton candy that is truly sugary sweet and divine and much superior to to the disappointing sweet petal pound cake thing that came out that was actually not pink petal tea cake and is inferior to rosewater meringue that rosewater meringue would have been the better pick in my opinion than sweet petal pound cake which is like a rehash of whipped rose latte which that isn't a bad fragrance but it's like we just has whipped rose and vanilla so it's just kind of like do we need something that redundant right afterwards but in any case off my off my soapbox on that i just remember being so jazzed when the once again that very uh awesome local store that gave me the hookup uh had these in stock and i was like girl give me all of it and so i remember buying that and being super excited about it and then when it did finally come back out like for the full release during SAS I did snag a few of those as well as a mist as well this is just truly one of my favorite body care fragrances from BBW and the fact that it came in the original like test packaging is just even so much more juicier and just quite random but there was also a champagne rose in this uh drop that i picked up as well but I remember being completely over the moon with this so love it i think the body cream has already gone bad but the shower gel and the mist are still great uh yes and then we kind of went out of order but it is what it is <laughs> um we have a 2017 memory which is actually not bath and body work so i guess it kind of makes sense it's right at the end but the last favorite memory is the the grand release or re-release of uh, like Slacken Candles with Homeworks. And I believe this was 2017, yes, 2017 for Christmas in July, I believe it was. I think I could be mistaken, but I think it was Christmas in July, maybe that the the uh, Harry Slackham made his return to the industry, um, and I remember being so jazzed about it. So homework. Hey guys, so it's been a long while, but I'm finally back, and for what we've all been waiting for for so long, and of course this is my massive, huge Harry Slackham QVC homeworks haul with all the candles right now. So this is going to be a super long video, so like grab a snack, actually grab like a whole meal because it's going to be a long one. Um, I have every single candle from the like core collection, the three wicks in the, what is it, eight sets. Um, so 16 fragrances. Um, I did order the deluxe ones in the etched glass as well, but those will come later on in the week. So expect a haul number two with those scents. Um, but I do have every candle from his, you know, QVC collection. So, um, I'll haul them, talk about them. So I've Hallmarks doesn't have a great reputation anymore, which is such a shame and it just really breaks my heart. But in any case, Hallmarks once upon a time used to be a pristine company and Slack and Co with the name also used to be a pristine name as well. So Slack and Co used to be with Bath and Body Works for many years. He made it the big brand that it is in terms of home fragrance with the three wick candles that we all know and love. Uh, so many of the fragrances that we still love today come from Slacken & Co, like leaves, uh, you know, winter, uh, suntan, like fresh balsam. All of those come from Slacken & Co days. And back then, like the, I guess, whatever, you know, talents that Harry Slacken and his team have combined with the marketing and pristine push of Bath & Body Works, the two together were a great combo. And like the packaging and the styling of it was just very like uh, chic, but like in a like still mass market way that everything about Slacken & Co was so awesome and juicy. And they really had truly great fragrances. And back then the performance was still very hit or miss, but the throw usually was pretty grand and awesome too. Of course, Slacken & Co towards the end of Bath & Body Works Day still had its oh my god, fair share of issues with it, like freaking like 2012 spring, it was just like dud after dud after dud. So they weren't even exempt from the dud issues as well. But 
Slacken and Co. still carried a very great name. So, uh, and then he left Bath and Body Works. He like had a stint with Party Light and then finally came back to QVC in 2017. And me being such a huge fan of Slacken and Co., I was so immensely jazzed about it. And I, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe like, hey, Slacken is coming to the business again. Like, you know, take all my money. Super excited for it. So the QVC launch happened. Um, and back then, I would say the first like two seasons of uh, Homeworks were excellent. It was the... The fall and winter of, I guess, 2017 with that Christmas in July. And then the 2018 spring was just truly amazing and snatched. Uh, and then everything kind of went downhill when production switched to Vietnam, I think, in uh, summer of 2018. And we had the four wick candles that were just absolute just duds. And would just fizzle out, would not pull out, just the complete dud. And then those issues still continue, unfortunately, to, to today, 2023, with the low throw, the wick issues, and the uh, declining quality. So, super sad. But in any case, we do have, like, the original lineup that I remember. I bought every single one of them. Yeah, like, with my own money. Because, like, back then, it was before Homeworks was doing PR. So, I was just like, girl, I'll spend all my money on Homeworks. Uh, so, we have Harvest Leaf, which still comes back. Iconic. Uh, we still had the metal, like, the harder metal chrome lids. Uh, these were the Made in USA pours. Uh, so, it has the, the batch number that starts with the A, which I assume is from Aileen's candles rather than the F, which is Fleming International in Vietnam. Uh, these were the three wick candles as well. They had like the massive, massive with wick clips in there as well. Uh, it was just back then, Homeworks was just so pristine that it just like it still breaks my heart to talk about it now because it's just kind of like there was so much potential with that company. And maybe they're still doing fine from a business and money standpoint, but from a reputation in the eyes of the candle community standpoint, they've completely got like just demolished. Uh, Sugar Plum Punch, which I think is the one that has never come back. Uh, and back then, they didn't do the full wrap label. Well, I mean, they're still a full wrap, but there was like transparency and cutouts with the wax color that I appreciated and loved so much more. It was just like classic homeworks before they like just slapped on the full, uh, full bleed photo. I love the plastic cutouts they used to do. And every single one used to do that. And it just felt a little bit more custom and bespoke. And I really appreciated that. One of my favorites, Banana Maple Pancakes from that original release as well. And then we also have the Mary Mary Cranberry, which I don't believe this one's come back yet either. Uh, and that's what that looks like. I think this one's actually still unburned um, and unused, and that's what that looks like. But I just remember being completely, completely obsessed with Hallmarks, stocking the QVC site, like buying the multiples of twos and like just absolutely going ham with it, being so excited for Hallmarks. Anytime Harry Slacken would do a presentation, I would be on it, watching all of it, pouring over all the notes and the images and being just like so immensely passionate passionate about it but yeah as you guys said it's still like very painful <laughs> painful for me to talk about it just because the brand is not at all what it used to be so but in any case that was still a great memory and I loved the I guess the potential that Homeworks had back then and how pristine and awesome the brand was at least with their image and their quality back then uh truly one of my favorite moments but also also probably the most painful because we kind of know what the, the the future outcome is at this point so I guess we can still remain hopeful that Hope Works will return to their former glory, but honestly, like the way they like sweep all the issues under the rug, I really don't have much faith in the brand anymore. But whew, I wish I didn't have to end on such a sour note, but I just had to be truthful about it and just yeah, got a little emotional about my last fragrance moment. So those are my top top five fragrance moments from my 11 years here on YouTube in celebration of National Fragrance Day. Uh, let me know what your favorite moments from uh, Bath and Body Works, Homeworks, your entire fragrance candle, uh, you know, career and hobby is. Let me know in the comments down below. I would actually also be really interested to see what the I guess the worst, uh, what your worst like most least favorite moment is that would actually make for a really fun video too just because like we can celebrate the ups in the positives in life but there's still a place and room to I guess process uh negative negative past moments as well so yeah uh, so we'll see that'll be a, another fun follow-up video so to speak so that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye